anybody who is under the radar and underdog situation is just never to let anybody tell you what you can or can't do. But really go after what you want and if it doesn't work out, at least you can say you tried. Although he's been sidelined in recent weeks due to injury, Jeremy Lin has still found ways to help Brooklyn off the court. He, along with teammate Spencer Dinwiddie, visited kids at a Brooklyn Nets basketball academy clinic in Sunset Park, where they showed kids the fundamentals of Brooklyn's favorite sport. Today, we just came to a nearby school and we're having a basketball clinic. We had a little bit of Q&A, a couple photos. It's definitely a breath of fresh air showing up today just because I feel like every day um, it's been a tough year in terms of injuries. So coming out here and seeing the excitement is kind of, uh, it just reminds me of a different perspective. And uh, to be able to see the smile on the kids' faces, I think it's, uh, it, it's been nice for me or an encouragement to me. <laughs> I think the community, in every community, they really rally around their team. Um, so as an NBA player, I always want to be able to give back. I want to say thank you and um, thank you for their support. And, and it's you know not a lot of time to be able to come by and, and see these kids. And hopefully I can inspire them, give them a little bit of advice as well on just you know staying in school and, and kind of pursuing their passions. I think that anytime I step on the floor, like I don't really care who I'm playing per se. Like even if they have a better career, they have better stats. Like in my own mind, it's like I'm the best player on the floor at all times. Like that's my mindset. Um, and I think like, I think that's important for you guys. It doesn't matter what you do, like school, basketball, or like music or whatever. Like your 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 mentality should always be like, I'm the best. I want to be the best, and I want to see how great I can become. School is really important. Like even if you guys want to be an athlete, you still have to make it to college. So I had high school teammates who were good enough to play in college, and they and there you know there were college coaches that wanted them to come, but they didn't have good enough grades. So they couldn't get into the college, and so they couldn't continue to play basketball. And so that was the end of their career. So that's really important. And then, uh, like the rule I always had growing up was just kind of within my family. My parents would always say, you know, you have to finish your schoolwork first. And then when you're done with that, you can play as much basketball as you want. So I would usually start like during lunchtime or like start right after school trying to finish. And then when I finished, I would just literally play until like basically there was no more light, like the sun went down. <laughs> 